After eight performances, the Mark Keppel Theatre Company and the Baltimore Sound Orchestra performed their last show of Hairspray on Sunday, March 6. This musical was another collaboration between director Miss Phillips, technical director Mr. Gillette, musical director Dr. Bartlett, and over a hundred students of the cast, crew, and orchestra. This musical was like... A very good one. It's probably like the best memory I have in my senior year. Hairspray was the first time the orchestra had a student conductor and the first time English and journalism teacher Miss Bradley had ever been on stage. But for Miss Phillips, it was the time period and music that inspired her to choose Hairspray. There was uh, so much that happened in our history that happened in the 60s. The civil rights movement is huge. I wanted to do a piece that had some, a little bit of depth to it, but also was really, really fun. But the, the music of the 60s has always been my favorite. This musical was also Miss Phillips's last with the graduating seniors, a group that she's credited for saving her drama program four years ago. I was worried. I didn't know what was gonna happen with my program because I felt like the best of the best were graduating and I didn't know who I was gonna cast in things and then all those freshmen came in and I can't believe the ways that, that they've changed and grown and matured and I am going to miss my seniors so much and I do feel like that they are the heart of this program right now and my heart. One of the four-year drama seniors is Kimberly Wu who played the lead of Tracy Turnblad. It's such a great way to end my senior year because I've been in this department for four years and it's such an honor to be ending it in this way. But for Wu, the musical brought another memorable moment. Her first kiss. I knew that if I got the role, that Miss Phillips would make me kiss Link. Mr. Gillette and I are not easy people to work with. She'll let you have a stage kiss because she wouldn't make your first kiss be on stage. Of course! No, no, that's not how it worked. And there's like the entire cast behind you that's watching and it's just a huge amount of pressure. And I knew since it was like three days before the musical, I knew I had to do it. While not everybody was able to bond through their first kiss, all the students of the musical grew closer together as a result of late night rehearsals, whether they are members of the orchestra. I started to learn new instruments, saxophone. So that kind of brought us together, like figuring out the um, tricks to make it easier. Crew. Bonding. Hmm. I feed them all the time with candies and all the food I have. Or cast. I'm really close to everyone because you do spend six hours a day with them. So um, it was really hard to let go of the seniors today. I think it just shows that drama is a really big family. For the graduating seniors, the last performance was bittersweet. Many of them had been in drama for four years, including senior Kyle Shelton. When I was a freshman, there was a big wave of kids coming into the drama department that wasn't really seen in other classes. So we all grew together for four years, both in acting and in, in like our own character. We spent like probably like thousands of hours together and uh, I love them all. But as the majority of seniors leave, new faces find interest in drama. For junior Gabriel Vera, who played the role of Link, Hairspray was only his first production at Keppel. It was a musical based on segregation and all that, and I've taken away a lot of history. It's not seen around as much today, but to, just to see that relived, it's really like a, an eye-opener. And for prospective drama students, Vera has these words of advice. My advice to you would be to just be yourself. Don't see everybody as judging you, and if you know it's right, then go ahead and do it. And when the seniors graduate in May, Miss Phillips will not be the only one missing her drama family. Of course, I got to shout out uh, Miss Phillips, my director. <laughs> She's made a huge impact in not only my life, but pretty much everybody's lives. And she's always been there whenever you need her. And like, she's, she's very firm, but at the same time, she's one of the sweetest people I know. And I'm going to miss her so much.